Hello and welcome to Indus News. I am Fiza Jamal bringing you top stories of this hour from our studios in Lahore. 22 Taliban fighters have been killed in US-led coalition airstrikes across Afghanistan. The defense ministry said that nine other Taliban fighters were wounded in the raids. Earlier, five people were killed and 20 injured by an explosion in northern Balan province. Moving on, Indian occupation forces have martyred two more Kashmiri youths in Srinagar. The martyrdoms came as Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control are observing a day of protest on India's Republic Day. Freedom struggle leaders have called a general strike in occupied Kashmir to protest India's continuing denial of their right to self-determination. Leader Mirwais Umar Farooq said that India's attempts to end Kashmiri's freedom struggle through military operation are doomed to fail. Meanwhile, the Philippines has granted autonomy to Muslim-majority provinces after voters endorsed a peace deal in a referendum. The Election Commission said that 86% of voters in five southern provinces supported the autonomy law. Next, rescuers in Brazil are searching for some 200 people who went missing after a dam burst at an iron mine. Bodies of nine people have been recovered, but officials expect the death toll to rise sharply. And tens of thousands of people have staged protests across Australia to call for the abolition of January 26th as National Day. Australia Day marks the arrival of British colonizers more than 300 years ago. Thank you for staying with Indus News for these top stories.